In today's video, I'm going to be talking about features that are important when you're designing and building a high performance home. Right now, I am standing in front of a home that we helped Jane Wilson build, and we did this for her about 10 years ago. Behind me here is the south facing wall. So orientation is extremely important when you're doing a high, high performance home. And as you can see, the roof line on this wall does not look level. And in fact, it's not because the home is not a perfect square. This wall was actually put on a slight angle to get more of a southern exposure. So south is great to allow the sun in where we live during the winter months, but we still wanna make sure we also block it in the summer months. Luckily, where Jane built her home, there's a lot of deciduous trees, so they will have lots of leaves in the summer, and then those leaves will fall off in the winter, and there will be more light coming through when the sun is lower in the sky. You will also notice that there's no windows on the north side of this design and minimal windows on the east and west because you can't control shading on the east and west where the sun rises and sets. Now windows themselves are extremely important as well. And this is the south wall that we're looking at here. So on your south facing windows, you may want to change the, what's called solar heat gain coefficient uh, or SHGC for short. And that would allow more heat or block heat depending on what that number is. You're gonna to wanna to work with your window manufacturer on that but you're also 100% going to want a triple glazed window for performance. And you need to make sure that that triple glazed window is in a larger frame. If the window manufacturer puts a triple glazed window into a double glazed frame, which means that there's less space between the glass, that will actually perform worse than just a standard double glazed window. So once you've made sure that that's been accomplished, you also wanna look at the spacer, which holds the glass pieces apart. If you wanna have what's called a super spacer, it won't be aluminum, so you don't have that thermal bridge. And then you're gonna look at the frame and that will really depend on what you're trying to achieve. You're gonna pay a lot more for an aluminum cladded wood window than you will for something like a PVC window, to give an example. You can also go fiberglass and that actually performs the best out of all the options. Another thing you're going to need to consider is how you're going to heat and cool the home. So in this case, Jane decided to use mini splits. So making sure that there wasn't a lot of closed spaces was extremely important. By building code, at least in Ontario, you need to have a heating source in every room that has an exterior wall. But if you leave spaces open, that could be considered part of the main space. So these are things that you have to work through with your designer, with your architect, with your building official. However, just in terms of comfort, yes, the home is built extremely well, but if you have a heating and cooling source in one room and you close the door and there's nothing in another room, that is something that will affect the comfort of your home. So you need to consider how that air is gonna circulate throughout the space if you're going with something like this. If that's not going to work for you, you might go with your typical forced air system, which is going to be a central system that goes throughout your entire home. And the last thing you wanna make sure you do for a high performance home is build it as airtight as possible. This home, we got down to less than 0.5 ACH. And when you do that, you need to make sure you install a fresh air system, which is an HRV or an ERV. This here is an ERV. And we do that in our climate because of the dry winters and because of the humid summers. That means this can run 24 seven without stopping no matter what time of year it is. If you wanna get a complete tour of Jane's home, you can actually watch this video here where Jane does just that. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you get notified of all of our new videos that are being released. Until next time, I'm Casey Gray, and remember to live consciously.